Hey guys, welcome back to the Arsenal Invincibles career mode. Today we are edging closer to the transfer window. And now, of course, don't really have any business to do in the window. But I thought I'd open it up to you guys so you guys can leave your comments down below. Should I do anything in this window to change up the series, to make it a little bit more interesting? Should I think about bringing in someone like Fabregas because he was part of Arsenal? You know, I, I don't know, just let me know your thoughts down below. I can already see that some people are almost getting bored of this already. Which is understandable, it's a completely different career mode to usual. So I'm trying to spice it up a little bit with the window coming up. Is there anything you think I should do? But what we're going to do quickly here before we get into our first few games is take a look at some of the stats. Are the players growing and are they going down? Well, three players have gone up by two. We've got Taylor, Senderos and Clichy all going up by two there. We've then got Lehman, 28 has gone up by one. Uh, Lauren's got up by one, as well as Colo Torre, Ashley Cole, Ali Adier, and Carnu. Now, everyone else has stayed the same, except from, where is he? Of course, Lee Dixon, who has gone down by one, but being 30 years old. Is he the oldest in the squad? I think he is. No, Pascal Segan and Martin Keown as well, 30 and 31. So, I'm sure they will go down at some point soon. Now, before we get into the first game, which is up against Liverpool... I've got highlights of three games that I played last night up against, you know, lower opposition, I should say. So let's just show you those highlights first and then we'll get into the game against Liverpool. So up first, we had Southampton, a bit of a bogey side for Arsenal over the last few seasons. But of course, back then, nah, we didn't have any bogey sides except for maybe Manchester United. But this game, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this right now. It was shocking. It was so so bad. I played these matches at about 1 in the morning last night, so you could say I wasn't quite in my prime, FIFA ability-wise. Still had some good chances, but for some reason, there seemed to be a brick wall in the Southampton goal. No matter what I did, the ball just flew away from that wall, and if it was on target, it would hit the wall. It literally felt like no matter what I did in this game, I just could not score. The first half was such a stalemate. We do get a chance here with Pires. Always going to open it up on his right foot there, which goes wide. Two minutes of injury time. Nothing happens. Straight into the second half here. Still nil-nil. Falls for Thierry Henry. Kylie smashing it into the bottom right corner, which goes wide. Story of my life in this game. Another shot coming in there from Thierry Henry. Saved by the keeper. Corner coming in. Ali Adier over the bar again. Just what, what can I do? Another shot coming in. Over the bar. Just felt like when I was getting these opportunities, it just was not going my way. And Southampton really didn't do too much. I brought on Will Tord towards the end of the game here. He came the closest after being on for, what, like 10 minutes. Final shot of the match goes to Petit, and he tried to square it to the bus lady outside the stadium. Unfortunately, that game ends nil-nil. So points dropped against Southampton as we move into the next game, which is going to be Bolton. I mean, you could say it's a bit of an easier game, but back then, Bolton were actually very decent. I remember JJ Okocha playing for Bolton. Cross comes in for Burkamp. Yeah, maybe should have got a little bit more power behind that one. That was absolutely useless. Over Mars into Thierry Henry. Tried to head it almost Van Persie style and uh, gets injured in the process. Yep, that's Thierry Henry injured. I tried to keep him on the pitch for as long as I could. Lovely flick by Over Mars and the shot as well off the bar. But uh, I tried to run off the injury. Unfortunately for Thierry Henry, it is going to be a three-week injury. So... Um, Although I've still got him in the lineup, Actually, no, I think at this point I changed him. Hit the bar again, by the way, honestly. It's just such a shame that we're going to be missing basically our best player. Although Burkamp is still in the team, should be able to carry us to some victories. Falls for Lauren here. That would have been absolutely superb if it hit the target. But nope, unfortunately, looks like we're going to be finishing this one 0-0 as well. Just could not score. But hang on. Wiltord, the saviour, came on for Thierry Henry. Gets it onto his right foot and he smashes it home. That is what you call a last-minute winner. That is glorious. Sylvain Wiltord, the young Frenchman, although he's 26, I think, in this career mode. Very, very nice finish there and actually steals the three points towards the end of the game. So now the next game at home to Newcastle. This one, wasn't looking forward to it. I've always found in career mode that Newcastle play really, really well. They've got a great mix of players. Slimani up top is always difficult to defend against. Has a, a header on target there. And as you can see, Newcastle really started off strongly here. Another chance there for them to make it 1-0. Shot goes wide. We had Overmars playing on the right with Burkamp down the middle and Pires on the left. It was a 4-3-3. I've got to say, it felt wrong. 
it didn't feel right not having Thierry Henry up front with Bergkamp. So it's going to take a little while to get used to him while he's out injured. And Bergkamp was doing his bits. I was doing everything I could to score. But th th this just, this is exactly what was happening to me. Look at that clearance. What can I do? <laughs> what could I actually do to score? It just felt like it was not going my way at this late night time. And oh, I don't know, the FIFA gods were against me because I got the corner almost score and then they come down on this right side on the break I miss my challenge with Gilberto I think it was they pass it back inside for Atsu and then pass it across for Kennedy on loan from Chelsea and he puts it into the top left corner we are one nil down right before the break here with just nine minutes left on the clock great finish by the way Lehman couldn't get close to it so we're going to try our best to get back in this as soon as possible we win the ball in midfield with Petit flick it on to Pires from Burkamp. Open up the body, onto that right foot. It falls kindly for Overmars, who slots it into the back of the net. And it's an instant reply. Finally, the net was there for me, just to, just to tap it in. That was a nice feeling after some really, really terrible missed opportunities. And then later on in the second half, somehow Pires finds so much space there. And he's able to squeeze it in. The keeper did get a touch, but it's a lovely assist from Bergkamp. And ultimately, that is going to give us... A second goal. Can they get one back? No, they can't. It's going to finish 2-1. And now we can get into that game against Liverpool. Hopefully, we can stay unbeaten. So, let's jump into the game against Liverpool. We have a very strong team lining up today. Henri still has a slight injury. So, Carnu will be going up front. And we have Gilberto coming in into the defensive midfield position instead of Petit. Otherwise, Lundberg goes out on the right. It's, you know, the best team we can put up for this game. And Liverpool, I'm sure, will be a tough one. They have, they've got some great players in that team for sure. And actually, we could be off to a decent start here with Lundberg. If I can drive forward here, maybe get a cross in. Oh, hello, Pires. Ooh, Gomez had to clear it. Here come Liverpool on the break now. Firmino gets it through for Henderson. Ooh, Seaman had to make the save. Interesting that they haven't got Salah playing. They've actually gone with Oxlade, the ex-Arsenal man, on the right side, who unfortunately will miss the entire of next season, won't he? The entirety of the, the whole next season. That's really, really bad news for Liverpool fans. Very sad. And actually, we're in here. I pass it across. Oh, that's cheeky. Carnu gets the opener. And it's 1-0. Just like that, Carnu just cannot stop scoring. That's four in his last two appearances. I mean... Who knows if we can get a couple more in this game. Because I've got to say, the Liverpool defence doesn't look too great at the moment. With Clavan and Gomez, I think it is. It's not the strongest, is it? When you've got Bergkamp and Carney running at you. And they've actually got a chance here, though. Vinaldum into Firmino. And we get a block in. Nicely done. Just a few minutes to go now until the break. Pires gets his boot in. OK, give that to Bergkamp. Nice. Now continue the run. Actually, we'll give it to Lundberg. Lovely pass. Come on going on that left side oh I've just ran straight into Gomez we've still got it here's Carnu. can I get a shot away yes I can but it's not going to be a second goal for Carnu. very close though he's actually fantastic Carnu. he's got great ability to hold up the ball he's got a great finish he's tall he's strong he's got a bit of everything he would have been superb now as he was back then but I think that's going to be the end of the first half we're winning the game but maybe we should be doing a bit better and winning by two or three Vinaldum now for Liverpool. Let's try and get a slide in. No, I've missed. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot. Luckily, Ashley Cole's right in the way there. Get another tackle in. I've missed it. Again, the tackling is not on point there. Is Salah doesn't get a good shot away. Right now, can we hit them on the break again? Emre Chan gets a touch, but not going to be enough. Let's see if we can get a 1-2 going here with Lundberg over the top now. Don't think I'm going to get that. Oh, yes, I am. Hits it first time. Oh, why did I hit it first time? That just seemed like a silly idea now that I look back. They're taking off Emre Chan and bringing on... I'm not sure who they brought on. They don't have Fabinho or Cater in this save, thankfully. Might be Milner. Potentially they brought in Milner or maybe Lalana. Let's have a look. It is going to be Lalana. And Burkamp almost won the ball there. It's going to be a foul. This is it for Liverpool. Their last chance. I need to defend this well. How many minutes added on? Two. Come on, Seaman, that's yours. Yes, that should be enough. Just kick it out. Maybe get on the counter here if Carnu can win it. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, for a second, I thought he wasn't going to blow the whistle, and I thought I was in trouble. But, guys, we've beaten Liverpool 1-0. We are still unbeaten. It looks like we potentially could be going into the window unbeaten, which is good. That means we're kind of halfway through this challenge, 
And so far, maybe only once or twice I've been actually worried about potentially losing it. But uh, so far, so good. Now, up next, our next challenger is going to be Leeds United. Live from Elland Road. I love this mod. It is so good that it's named all the stadiums properly. Of course, it's not added the actual stadium itself, but renaming it all, it's really cool. But we're going with a very similar lineup. Petit comes back in, though. We've got Lundberg on the right with Overmars on the left to give Perez a little rest. But I am starting Carnu and Burkamp up together as Thierry Henry is almost back fit, but not quite. This isn't good. This is not good at all. Oh, my God. That defending, though, what was that? I just let them walk through me. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to, but a moth literally landed on my leg as I was trying to defend that. So I tried to flick him off me and took my hand off the controller. Honestly, bad timing, silly moth. Let's go down this right side. Carnu's making his run. You know what I want to do. Straight to Carnu. Oh, my God. You're going to miss that, really? Oh, God. Missed my tackle. He's gone for the finesse. Off the bar. I've got to hand it to Leeds. They have been incredible so far in this game. Genuinely. Like, they've had a couple of good chances and maybe should be winning this game more than 1-0. Pass it to Burkamp. Let him do the job. Oh, come on. It's a foul. Okay, right on the edge of the box here. I was going to say, surely that's a foul because he's just tugging me. But what, what do we do here? Do we go with a pass and shot? I'm going to try it. Just smack it top left corner. Oh, maybe it was just too close. Again, I've got to give it to Leeds. That was an unbelievable first half from them. We've had a couple of chances, but really, Leeds are in control. Just have a bad feeling about it, you know. I've just got one of those feelings that this second half I'm not going to be able to score. The clock is counting down, guys. Genuinely, I'm a little bit worried now. This is the first time I felt like this, where I actually feel under threat here. This could be a big problem. Okay, we've won it back. Can I keep it in? Surely I kept that in. Oh, my God. Maybe I should make some changes as well. We do not have much time left. I think I'm going to have to bring on Perez and Reyes, maybe. Maybe Will Tord. I think Carnu isn't really getting involved enough, so let's bring on Will Tord. Maybe Reyes on the right side, a bit of burst of pace, and Perez on the left. Perez has been very good for me, so this is it. Final kind of 20 minutes, 25 minutes to really try my best to score here. Come on, Matt. It's Leeds. I've got to be doing better than this. If I've got any hope of finishing the entire season's un unbeaten, and we've got it back. Here we go. Straight away on the attack. Let it go three legs. Okay, Will Tours made a run. He's going to be offside. Okay, we'll go with Perez instead. Just get it over the top. Should be able to get that. Oh, my God. I'm playing like an idiot. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. I got lucky. I got so lucky. I got really lucky. Yes, I got so lucky. <sighs> the relief. Reyes as well. I just brought him on. His first touch of the ball is going to be putting it into the back of the net. I don't know how I made it through the defence. It just bobbled around everywhere, didn't it? Look at this. Oh, my God. That is so, so lucky. And through the keeper's legs as well. Wow. Okay, now I just need to hold on and maybe just hit them on the break and I can turn what was a very, very poor performance into somehow three points. That is beautiful. Dennis Burkamp, man. Oh, and I've just lost it. I thought I might just get a shot away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here's Hernandez. Trying to back off. Don't want to commit. Okay, we got rid of it. I think that might just be it, though, unless I can win that. Oh, hello. Hello. Give it through for Burkamp. What a ball. No! Why is he not just taking that under control? I don't get it. Oh, if they score now. Okay, there you go. We get a draw. We're still going to be top of the league. We're still going to be unbeaten. I know I keep saying it, but that, that was a shaky game. I didn't particularly enjoy that one. Luckily, I managed to get myself out with a, a bit of a lucky goal from Reyes. But I tell you what, you make your own luck. I was pushing hard. Now, for the last game of this episode and the last one before the transfer window... Henri is back up against Aston Villa today. Bergkamp at Cam. I quite like it when he drops deep. He's very good at holding up the ball and flicking it on. Pires Lundberg on the wings. Parler and Vieira as the DMs. And then Clichy, Campbell, Keown, Lauren and Lehman in the defence. Hopefully, I'm not going to have another bad performance like I just did against Leeds. So glad that Thierry's back. I've really missed him. Thierry Henry makes this team. Him and Bergkamp together, though. That's... That's the dream partnership. How I miss those days so much. And I'm sure so many Arsenal fans and football fans in general miss that. Henri and Burkamp were just oh, unbelievable. I'm so 
so glad I was able to mod FIFA and actually play with them like this. But anyway, let's focus on the game and try and get Henri a goal on his return. Here is Thierry. Through for Lundberg. Go back post for Pires. Oh, hello. He's in, but he's he somehow saved it. It was right up against him, I guess. And now I've given it away. Should be able to get there. Try and turn backwards a bit. Oh, my God. No. No. Oh, what a save, Lehman. <sighs> that was my fault. What was I doing with Campbell trying to turn back there? I should have just smashed it out. And now they've got a corner. Oh, no. No. Oh, Chester just puts it over. Yes. Come on, Thierry. I'm just going to hit that. Go on. Oof. The difference between Thierry and someone like Will Tord. I mean, there's no comparison. He's just lethal. Corner coming in, though. Sol Campbell's there. Now my header goes over. Here we go again. To Omri. Perez has made his run. So is Bergkamp. Bergkamp's in. Finesse it. Outside of the foot. It would have been a glorious finish. But no, the keeper saves it again. Oh my god, I got so lucky there. Chip the keeper. Hit it again. <laughs> what am I doing trying to chip the keeper from there? That is just stupid. Oh, Dennis Bergkamp almost. Almost beautiful. Give that to Parla for Thierry. I might give it back. No, I'm going to cut inside here. Just hit it. Oh, Thierry Henry, just get out. Just just leave. It's disrespectful. It really is. Just, that shouldn't be going in. He's just so good. I love this man. I love Thierry Henry, my favourite player of all time. And I'm using him in a career mode. Just so much space and then bang. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Not many keepers are actually going to stop that. It was closer than I thought. Right before half time as well, I think the referee's going to blow his whistle pretty much right away. Is he? You're going to blow the whistle, mate? Yeah, there you go. 1 0. I think I'm going to win this game. I haven't struggled at all. Do I try something stupid here? Just try and dribble through them all with Burkamp. Hang on. Oh, I'm going to finesse that. I had to. Oh, can you imagine if that went into the top corner? What a start to the second half that would have been. Uh, this wasn't meant to happen. Uh, okay. So, I just conceded a stupid goal. What happened here? It's, it's Keown. Just, like, just ran the other way. Just completely the opposite direction of the direction I wanted him to go. Oh, well, whatever. We'll score. I'm not worried, okay? I promise. We're going to score another goal. And it's going to be with Thierry Henry, and it's going to be right now. Oh, my God. Look at him. Oh, it's just disgusting. I sound like Rio Ferdinand. Do you know every time that Ronaldo scores or Messi scores, he's just there like, oh, it's illegal. That was completely illegal. What's he doing? How, how is he scoring that? He's not human, is he? That's what I feel like right now with Thierry Henry. Every chance, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to run and score. Every time I get the ball with Henry in these positions, I just think I, I, I can just keep running. Look at that. How do you stop that? Don't let him shoot. Good tackle. Oh, no. This is not good, is it? Don't you dare. I've been playing so well in this game. Don't ruin it with another defensive mistake. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Clear it, clear it, clear it! Jeez, he left it for so long there. But there we go. It finishes 2-1, guys. We're now officially into the transfer window. I don't know what I want to do. I am thinking maybe I should sell an icon or sell one of my better players and bring in someone like Fabregas or just another ex-Arsenal player. Maybe you guys could comment down below of some ex-Arsenal players that maybe I should bring into the team just to freshen things up. Maybe I should sell two of my icons and bring in two ex-Arsenal players. I don't know, just trying to make the series a little bit more fresh. Here's the table. I'm absolutely running away with it at the moment. Six points clear of Leicester and I have a game in hand. However, our next game is against Chelsea. So you never know, that could be a tough one. But we're over halfway now through the season still zero losses five draws 16 wins i mean we're on course to beat the record of 90 points well arsenal's invincible record obviously other teams are finished with more points city broke the record last season can i reach 100 103 points or something like that maybe i i don't know but at this rate it is looking good we haven't even conceded 10 goals yet so let me know what you want me to do with the window it's way too hot to be sitting in my room right now so i'm gonna stop here Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe as well, guys. And I will see you in the next one.